Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. If you're just joining us, this is a special presentation of Our Issues Milwaukee, where we've been observing the 100th anniversary of Goodwill Industries of Southeastern Wisconsin. They have a rich history, and their future is certainly bright. Here to help us wrap things up is the VP and Chief Marketing Officer, Pat Bolter, and Suzanne Maldonado. She serves as the VP of Talent Bridge, the staffing and recruitment arm of Goodwill Industries of Southeastern Wisconsin. Hello there. Hello. Hi there. And we are going to talk about the growth of resale because that's a pretty big deal these days. The growth of resale, it's explosive. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a, a number the other day that said that by the year 2033, one third of everyone's closet will be fulfilled with secondhand items. Huh. So it is just growing leaps and bounds. And so, of course, Goodwill Industries. Uh, all of our stores and donation centers, we're trying to poise them, get them ready mm -hmm. for this incredible growth in, in the resale industry. Wow. Um, another really important factor that we're excited about is that Gen, Gen Zs and Millennials. Okay. Because for those two groups of people, first of all, they have tremendous buying power. And those two groups of individuals, you know, what's really important to them is that they align with companies and they support companies that have social causes. Mm -hmm. So we have two. We have a social um, responsibility when it comes to the environment. Mm -hmm. We divert millions, hundreds of millions of pounds from landfills every single year. And then, of course, our mission of jobs and training. So we're really a natural for that group. Mm -hmm. um, I think with some of those generations especially, the stigma of resale is gone. Oh yeah, for sure. They're very much used to, um, uh, and they, they love vintage items mm -hmm. and um, gently used items, and um, you know. So the stigma is really, really gone, I, I believe, and that's that's so powerful and. Um, I think we have great opportunities in the future. Yeah, and Mr. Deppis was just on a last segment, and he talked about the fact that you go to the Goodwill retail stores, mm -hmm. and you never know what you're going to find. Exactly. And I think that that really is fun, especially for you know us shopaholics. Right. <laughs> it's and, the fun of it all. And we have such dynamic inventory because our inventory yeah. is constantly changing. Mm -hmm. So you walk in at eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning. It's very different by eleven or noon wow. or two o'clock. So so it's just it's all. Always, it's just fun, you know. You get that adrenaline rush. When it you is. Find something for a great price. You can tell she's a shop. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> treasure hunting. We all love that. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. so it's just it's a fun place to shop. Mm -hmm. I, I think everybody loves saving money. And the fun part really is when someone comes into your home or your office and they're like, "Where did you mm -hmm. get that?" And you're like. Found it at the Goodwill. And Absolutely. I've seen a change in that. You know, I've been at Goodwill for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, when people bought something from Goodwill, they didn't necessarily tell others about it. Ah. Now it's almost a badge of honor. <laughs> I'll say, oh, I love your dress. Oh, Goodwill, five ninety nine. Wow. So it's really changed, and I've seen that, which we're, okay. we're excited about. That's pretty cool. And so we have to talk a little bit more about uh, the record unemployment. It mm -hmm. is create opportunities to promote untapped labor pools, and that's right up your alley. So speak on that. Yeah, it is. Um, Talent Bridge started at about the same time as our Workforce Connection Centers, mm -hmm. which Dan referred to a little bit earlier. Those are free resources for employers and employees to come in. Um, both of those uh, business units started at a time where the economy looked really different than it looks today. Unemployment mm -hmm. was very high. There were a lot of people looking for jobs and fewer jobs available. We have exactly the opposite kind of end of the spectrum right now. Really record low unemployment, as low as it's been in 50 years. Years, which means employers are having to think really differently about how they hire, what their process looks like, how they move things quickly enough to really connect with the most talented employee for their jobs. Mm -hmm. So Talent Bridge is a staffing and recruiting firm. We um, came to be as part of Goodwill as a mechanism really to connect better with employers and understand the talent acquisition needs and then connect those employers with the most talented people that we have access to because we have a really broad platform from mm -hmm. which to pull people. So um, it's been an interesting time because because unemployment is so low, it's a time when employers are really rethinking um, how they hire, why the process is what it is, and trying new things, which means in some cases um, acknowledging that there are people with barriers to employment and making them part of the hiring equation if they are the right fit with the right talent and the right competencies for the job. Absolutely, and so you have not only individuals with disabilities, because when we look at the American Disabilities Act, mm -hmm. it's not just individuals who you know may be in a wheelchair or something of that sort. Uh, you have individuals who may have uh, minor drug issues, uh, so many different things, depression. Mm -hmm. There is a plethora of things that fall under that act. And so you're helping individuals uh, that are 
that fall under that umbrella. We are. We're helping everyone. So Talent Bridge exists to be um, to tap into the broad labor pool, which is all of us. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that among all of us are people who have all sorts of challenges in their yeah. lives. So they are people with barriers. Um, some of them are, are really easy to understand barriers, mm -hmm. perhaps a criminal background, something. But but lots of them are kind of unseen barriers that they don't have a high school diploma. They weren't able to finish their education. English might be a second language. Um, they've had for various reasons, you know, uh, difficulty maintaining a job because perhaps there have been family requirements outside of work that have caused them to be able to, to have to turn over jobs or try something new. Mm -hmm. So, and then in addition to that, it's it's everybody, it's all of us. So Talent Bridge goes um, forward with the premise that the the um, wide group of people available for work include people who have challenges and barriers to work, and those are the people that we service and we help employers fill their needs with talented folks who bring the right competencies for the job to the table. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of the jobs that you know mm -hmm. you've been able to place people. With. Yeah. Ta so so Talentbridge serves. Um, we are a general staffing firm, which means we place people in everything from manufacturing positions through administrative support roles through professional placements. So we're we're the entire gamut of the sorts of jobs that exist in the world. We help people into jobs that are contract in nature, meaning they're temporary contract to hire, meaning they're temporary for a period of time, and then mm -hmm. the the organization permanently hires them. And direct placements in which the people never work directly for Talent Bridge. We just find them and they're hired directly by the organization. So we place, again, people who work on a manufacturing line, who do assembly work. Um, we place substitute teachers. We place accountants. We place administrative assistants. We place a whole variety of different sorts of roles. And it really is finding the one right best employee for every single individual opportunity. Yeah. So that's the magic, you know, that's the, that's the process of matching the right people. And so if there's someone that's watching right now and mm -hmm. they'd like to become a part of the Talent Bridge mm -hmm. so that you can work to you help get the recruited. <laughs> what would they need to do? Uh, they would need to call us or they would need to check out our the jobs that we're advertising for on the website, mm -hmm. which is www.goodwilltalentbridge.com. Um, things are posted all the time. Um, they can also walk into any of our offices. We have one on 91st and Silver Spring. We also have one um, on 60th and Grange and Greenfield. Okay. And before we wrap up, you know, you were talking about the growth of resale. Mm -hmm. And so you guys also have an outlet store. We Just want to let all we those do. shopaholics know yes, they have absolutely. another yeah. option. <laughs> it is in Racine County, right off Highway 20, uh -huh. actually right around from where the Marcus Theater is. Um, and what it is, is it basically gives the items from our stores and donation centers that don't sell a second chance. Uh -huh. So after so many weeks, when it's in the store, if it doesn't sell, it goes to the outlet store. And shoppers can come in there and instead of buying individual items, they purchase items by the pound. Wow. So instead of a um, cashier that rings up individual items, literally your cart is weighed. Wow. And that is the price. And so within that, you could, there's just incredible, uh, more incredible deals. Sounds like fun. Yeah, so <laughs> people love it, and uh, we're excited about it, and we're hoping to be able to open more in the future. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it all goes for a great cause. So thank you, ladies, so much for stopping by. And a huge thank you to Goodwill Industries of Southeastern Wisconsin for the difference that you continue to make in the lives of people who live in our community. And happy 100th anniversary. Thank you so thank much. You. I appreciate you coming by. Pet Bolter, she is the VP and Chief Marketing Officer for Goodwill Industries of Southeastern Wisconsin and Suzanne Maldonado. She is the VP of Talent Bridge. For more information on anything we've discussed, of course, you can visit their website at goodwillsew.com. That's going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. As always, I thank you for watching, and I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues Milwaukee. Have a great day.